ladies and gentlemen, this is basically the end of impeachment. And if if it when it and if it gets to the Senate, because I can't imagine Democrats would want this to get to the Senate. But if and when it gets to the Senate, the vice, former vice president is done. Now, today, this is, and I did a segment on this on H.A. Goodman's other channel, but I'm going to be a lot more, um, that, that was a more irreverent segment, because I'm a little bit more myself on H.A. Goodman's other channel. You can subscribe below in the pinned comment. But here, judge demands three years of returns from the vice president's son. An Arkansas judge demanded, this is December 2nd, 2019, Zachary Stiber, the Epic Times, and it's also in the Daily Mail today. An Arkansas judge demanded at least three years, ladies and gentlemen, three years of tax returns from former Vice President Joe Biden's son. This is the paternity case. They have to calculate how much he owes. Biden, 49, agreed to take, uh, so unlike Warren, who failed her DNA test, he, thank goodness, passed. And, you know, so th the nature of these cases, he owes money. Why he took a, a woman he had a relationship with to court when he simply could have owned up and done the responsible moral thing? You know, he's the father. Why take the person to court? Now, a judge, an Arkansas judge, just today, and this, by the way, his lawyer, like, abruptly just left. But here, judge demands three years of tax returns. So, and, and Hunter Biden he wasn't even there. He skipped the hearing. So, if you look... This is not only in the Epic Times by Zachary Stiber, December 2nd, 2019. It's also in the Daily Mail, December 2nd, 2019, exclusive. Vice President's son, uh, this is not exactly the way it's written, but uh, not adhering over child support as his lawyer abruptly quits. Uh, and, and then and then the lady that he had a relationship with leaves, le leaves the court as well. The judge demanded three years of returns from the vice president's son. If he's still getting paid from Burisma, if he's still getting paid from whatever deal there was with China, if he's still, whatever sources of income he has, they're going to find out. Republicans in the Senate are going to find out and eviscerate both Bidens. I I, ta I said this would take place the other day when I this is Senate uh, Trump wins Senate trial. I said they're going to disclose his records and they did. So a lot of times, like you know, I'm forward thinking in my segments and I'm proven right. So I don't know how they get away with this. This is in the Daily Mail today. It's in the Epic Times. Now, you better believe. You better believe that the New York Times and the Washington Post, if it were Donald Trump Jr. or Eric Trump or Jared Kushner, could you imagine the gleeful, how gleeful they would be? Could you imagine just the nauseating, schadenfreude gleefulness? And it's not even like... This is actually a beautiful thing. God has blessed him with a, a beautiful uh, kid, and he should just be happy. But instead, you're talking about the vice, former vice president's son. In addition, now, we have the whole issue with sunscreen and lotion. Then we have the issue with um, chomping on uh, the wife's finger. The, does anyone on the left think that Biden's going to defeat Trump? Does anyone believe this? So then Kellyanne Conway said, yeah, we need, um, you think we need Ukraine to defeat, to defeat Trump, uh, to defeat uh, Biden? And then her husband's like, oh yeah, your, your boss did. <laughs> and it's like, no, the boss didn't. The investigation into Burisma and into, uh, we're, we're seeing now the behavior of both Bidens. 
You want to talk about, you know, a person being erratic or a person being out of control or a person being um, unpredictable. Trump is like a serene, calm, placid lake compared to uh, both, both Bidens. You know, Democrats, what they do is they can't win on the merits. The economy is great. There's record low unemployment. There's record low black and Latino unemployment. The economy's fantastic. Foreign policy, first president to step foot in North Korea, begin detente between North and South Korea, a roadmap to peace. There's no, he hasn't brought us into a quagmire like Bush, and he hasn't destroyed a country in Libya like President Obama, and there's nothing that he's done to warrant such contempt, aside from his personality that really, that's, that's subjective. So they can't win on the merits. They can't say, oh... Um, the country is running smoothly. They have to say, oh my God, Michael Cohen, oh my God, Stormy, oh, and none of this sticks because it's all nonsense. He worked with Russia. That didn't happen. Nobody's been indicted on working with Russia. It's all process crimes. They utilize the full weight and prestige and influence of the United States government to politicize what should never have been a criminal probe. They began a criminal probe with a dossier Clinton purchased and information from a third-party tech firm that was outsourced by Democrats. If the tables were turned, they would never allow this. How do we know? Because William D. Campbell, an informant of the FBI, already testified before Congress stating that, oh yeah, by the way, um, Russian lobbyists were bragging about their influence over the Clinton Foundation and President Obama's administration. The, the Hill's John Solomon wrote about that. The first rebuttal from Democrats was, well, that's, that's only his word. He has no proof. Well, he, he, he has recordings. It, it really, whether or not he has recordings, it, it was just, let's just say it's his word. Where are the recordings from Alexander Downer? If anything, John Durham and William Barr have already heard exculpatory evidence in the form of recordings that exonerate George Papadopoulos. He should never have been swept up in the probe. He had every reason to believe Alexander Downer and Mifsud were up to something. Mifsud, Joseph Mifsud, stated he never told Papadopoulos anything about Clinton or the DNC emails. Papadopoulos stated he never, he never told uh, Downer anything. So Downer is the one who either made it up or found out, found out before anyone else. So if, if Downer found out about the DNC email emails allegedly being hacked because the intelligence community literally doesn't know if that's, that happened, then it was Downer who somehow knew maybe he was working with the Russians. Certainly wasn't Mifsud or, or Papadopoulos, but even still, this is all gossip and hearsay. Why trust the, the hearsay of others but not the testimony of William D. Campbell when it came to the Clinton Foundation and Uranium One? 20% of U.S. uranium capacity was sold under President Obama's administration. Cash flowed to Clinton Foundation amid Russian uranium deal. This is in the New York Times. So you have a situation where they'll follow leads that actually suit them, then they'll hide behind, and then you have agents that are saying, we'll stop Trump. And then Lisa Page has a, a Daily Beast um, article, you know, propping her up. It's like... She's on record. They're already on record as um, stating they want to stop Trump. And they're on record as stating they dislike Trump. And then, then the, the rebuttal as well, you know, they can delineate, they can separate their political beliefs from the investigation. No, they can't. If it's a plumber, yeah. If, it's, if, you're, if you're working on a house, if it's like a contractor, if it's like you can – if you're engaged in an activity or work – where your political beliefs have nothing to do with the work, then yeah, you can separate your political beliefs from the work. But if it's actually investigating where that has to deal with suspicion, if you don't like a political figure, you'll, you will obviously be more suspicious. And furthermore, they didn't even ask how Clinton was able to transfer and receive and store top secret intelligence from intranets onto her servers that were located outside the United States government. So that's another issue. But now you have the basis, the foundation of all of this is that, well, by the Bidens did nothing wrong. 
In fact, Joe, in fact, uh, Papa Biden um, had to force that other prosecutor in the Ukraine to get fired. And, you know, he, he might have said, yeah, the billion, you're not going to get the billion dollars. And he's on video in typical Biden fashion when he's not talking about his legs and lotion. Or, you know, when he's not talking about, you know, fighting cornflakes. He's then saying, um, you're not going to get a billion unless you do this. Which, by the way, uh, Ambassador Ivanovich actually stated President Obama's administration gave her talking points, you know, in case this was an issue when she was nominated years ago. So they had known about this. They had concern about, concerns about this years ago, which undermines their defense defending Biden. So, well, you know, it, there was nothing going on. Yeah, there were conflicts of interest that even President Obama knew. And so when President Trump wants to find out the conflicts of interest, he has every right to. Democrats hide behind the notion that other, other people are cheating them as they cheat, as they utilize the government for their purposes. They used the United States government for their purposes. That's what they're accusing Trump of doing. In this case, the Bidens are up to their, um, up to here with conflicts of interest, erratic behavior, a whole bunch of bizarre things going on in terms of words said and 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 behavior. They, they talk about Trump and how he's so like, you know, unhinged and all this. Like, no, listen to Biden. Everything he says is completely bizarre, and not in an, a, in a fun way. Like like this is the thing. Trump is a f hilarious guy. He's very funny. He's actually when you you can go on YouTube and today's comedians they don't make me laugh at all. Like the older comedians, like, you know, people like everybody from Robin Williams to Eddie Murphy to, um, I mean, Dave Chappelle. I love Dave Chappelle. Um, the only modern day comedian that I really love that makes me laugh is Cat Williams. But other, and, and then there's also, he's good. Sebastian uh, Maniscalco, he's good. But other than that, like, today's comedians is so, because they can't talk about things for fear of being, um, you know, I love Don Rickles. I mean, Don Rickles couldn't exist today. George Carlin couldn't really. Sam Kinison, for sure not. I love Sam Kinison. Well, you can look and so, but today's comedians, they're afraid to talk about anything. Trump is more funny than most of the comedians today. Sometimes you'll you'll see on YouTube like this comedian will get like a million views or seven hundred thousand views, and I'll listen to it just to try to give it a chance. I'm not laughing at all. Not even, it's not even, not even humorous. Like I'm thinking, like what is this canned laughter? Like, like, like a soundtrack? Like how are people laughing at this? But Trump is hilarious. He's actually really funny. So when he goes after Democrats, it's like they're like, oh my god. Biden's not. Now you have his son's financial records out there in the open in a court of law. Because of something he got himself into. And I'm not even talking about the relationship that produced uh, the kid. I'm talking about trying to skirt your responsibility. It's like that song. They have to change it to, that's just Hunter Biden. That's just my Hunter Biden. So, like, he could have simply just owned up, taken responsibility, and that's it. And he said, hey, you know, God gave me this great gift. Instead, now his financial records are out in the open. Now Democrats can say, hey, you still getting money from Burisma? Let's see. Let's see. You still getting money from the uh, venture capital um, investment banking deal with China? Let's see. Taking money from, um, you know, the Biden campaign 2020? Let's see. His financial records are out in the open now. Just like I said they would be a couple, a couple days ago. So Trump's going to win this Senate trial. And, I mean, even if they, the Democrats say, well, you know what, Hunter Biden's not testimony, testifying, you cannot make him testify. It's like, well, yeah, and you know, guess what? His financial records are disclosed by an Arkansas judge. This is in the Epic Times, this is in the Daily Mail. Doesn't matter if the Washington Post and New York Times haven't reported on it, and if they, when they do, believe me, they'll try to, like, just sweep it under the rug, and eh, it's not a big deal, you know, it happens. This is about, this entire impeachment is about Trump utilizing his presidency to go after Biden because he's so afraid.
But he had every right to. In, ask an investigation. He had every right to because we can see from the younger Biden's behavior, the guy's all over the place. And he was part. He was on the board of a corporation that there's a criminal probe in, into the corporation right now. He was getting millions of dollars or, or tens of thousands a month and then a total of a million dollars funneled to him, not for his expertise because he doesn't have expertise in, in, in the energy field. So... Those are, these are these are questions, and you had one impeachment witness, two impeachment witnesses who literally state, "Yeah, Obama's President Obama's administration was worried about Biden's conflicts of interest," and also you had um, not only a political article stating that. Um, in 2017, that, that Democrats reached out to the Ukraine to find dirt on Manafort and Trump, which is reaching out to a foreign country. Oh, gee, I wonder what, where the collusion uh, paranoia and, uh, you know, reference. How come they forget about that? They, the Steele dossier with Russian sources and MI6 agent, Ukraine, they are guilty of everything they've accused Trump of doing. But you, you, have, you, have, this, you have this situation where... Trump was justified in asking Zelensky. Zelensky wasn't pressured. They got the assistance. In the phone conversation, there was no quid pro quo. To try to prove there was quid pro quo, it's just the, it's just the opinions of others. Give me your thoughts below. Biden's financial records are now disclosed by an Arkansas judge. Do you think that they're going to be in the Senate trial? Yes. So when it goes to, to the Senate, you better believe Republicans are going to sniff and just be, be frothing at the mouth over every little minute um, source of income, every little source of income that that Hunter Biden uses to spend thousands, allegedly, at wonderful locations, they'll look into. Give me your thoughts below, uh, and that'll undermine the initial defense of, of, of the vice president. Give me your thoughts below. Thank you.